607 p.m. BST THE two best heavyweights in the world, unified title holder Anthony Joshua and titless Deontay Wilder, have their schedules in perfect alignment. Where Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales win Saturday TV showtime, 5 p.m. At the will each defend their belts in mandatory fights on back-to-back -back weekends, both televised on showtime. But the ultimate goal ISNT for them to fight on consecutive weekends it is for them to fight each other. Joshua and Wilder, both big men with charisma and massive punching power, continue to talk about an eventual showdown. Their summit meeting appears inevitable. It is the biggest fight in the division by far and perhaps the biggest fight in boxing. I think he's what the division needs, and I think this is what Wilder needs, so we'll give it to them, Joshua said. I say it's definitely a potential for 2018. What else am I going to do in 2018 said Wilder the ultimate goal is to get Joshua. But first they have business to attend to, and if they are successful in their upcoming fights, there will, of course be the difficult matter of negotiations. Those talks will be a fight unto their own, almost as rough as what might go on between the ropes. Anthony Joshua, left, defends his heavyweight belts against late replacement Carlos Takam on Saturday, Stephen McCarthy get the images but first up, Joshua Chapter 190, 19 KOs, 28, of England, will make his fourth title defense when he faces late replacement Carlos Takam 3,531, 27 KOs, 36, a Cameroon native living in France. Takam was on standby in case something happened to mandatory challenger Kubrick Pulov. Indeed, Pulov suffered a shoulder injury two weeks ago and was forced to withdraw from the fight, and Takam, who had been training, was pressed into service to challenge Joshua on Saturday showtime, 5 p.m. E.T. before an expected crowd of about 75,000 at Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. Anthony Joshua will now face Carlos Takam, a last-minute replacement for the injured Kubrick Pulov, in a heavyweight bout in Wales October 28. Anthony Joshua was expecting to fight Kubrick Pulov at the Principality Stadium on Saturday. Instead, he will defend his heavyweight titles against Carlos Takam heavyweight titless Deontay Wilder up the ante in advance of his rematch next month against Romain Stivern, telling reporters that he would retire from boxing if Stivern beats him. One week later, on November 4, showtime, 9 p.m. E.T., at Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, Wilder will defend his belt against mandatory challenger and former title holder Bermain Stivern, the man Wilder easily outpointed to win the belt in 2015, the Las Vegas-based Stivern 2,521, 21 KOs, who turns 39 on November 1, had been training for a fight on the undercard after making a deal to step aside in order to allow Wilder an optional defense against dangerous contender Luis King Kong Ortiz. But after Ortiz tested positive for two banned substances last month and was dumped from the fight, Stivern was tapped to take his place. Wilder 380, 37 KOs, 32, of Tuscaloosa, Alabama, has made five defenses but does not have nearly as significant a victory on his resume as Joshua recorded in his last bout. That was an 11th round knockout of former longtime world champion Vladimir Klitschko in an epic fight on April 29 before a British boxing record crowd of 90,000 at Wembley Stadium in London. In the leading fight of the year candidate, Joshua retained one belt and one a vacant one. He'll fight while there next year and make it a priority, 100%. There's no doubt about that. Anthony Joshua after the fight. Most thought Klitschko would exercise his contractual right to a rematch. Joshua promoter Eddie Hearn of Matchroom Boxing was already in talks to bring the fight to T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas for what would have been Joshua's American debut. But Klitschko elected to retire, so it made far more financial sense for Joshua's fight with Pulov and now Takam to take place in the United Kingdom, where Joshua is like a rock star. Joshua and Hearn say they have plans to have him fight in the United States. That is where a potential unification showdown with Wilder is likely to take place on pay-per-view. I think so, Joshua said of facing Wilder in America. I can see it happening in the US if you came to Wembley on April 29th, you saw what that was like. It was phenomenal. That was really good. So, do we want to create that again or should we go overseas and do something new? It's good to have options. Anthony Joshua, right, defeated Vladimir Klitschko in April in the biggest win of his career so far. Richard Hethkate Getty Images Joshua is by far the biggest boxing star in the UK but would like to follow in the footsteps of Britain's all-time best heavyweight champion, Hall of Famer Lennox Lewis, which means also making a name for himself in the United States. I would love to fight the great champions that the United States has produced. At the same time, he'll fight anywhere. I'm fine staying in the UK, but America's definitely at the top of the pyramid, for sure, Joshua said. 
The thing is, before, I wanted to go out there for the experience, but now I want to go out there and make me some money. For what fight, that's what's going to be interesting. I think a wilder fight could be built to be something just like the Klitschko fight. It should be better. Hearn wants to bring Joshua to America, but for a big fight. That's what a Klitschko rematch would have been, and it's what a wilder fight will be. I just want to prove to the world that I am the best. That's all I want to do. I don't care about who's the A side, who's the B side, where the fight's going to be. I don't care about that stuff, just me in the ring. Deontay Wilder it's definitely on the radar. If you want to try and change the game and break down boundaries, that includes America, Africa and the Middle East as well, Hearn said. It's hard to leave the UK with 75,000 to 90,000 people compared to what the US is. But Anthony Joshua is a global brand. He's not British heavyweight champion he's a world heavyweight champion. The key now is to get the win Saturday, and then in the weeks that follow, put our plans together for 2018, and hopefully America is included in that. Though while there is training for Stivern, he said he plans to watch Joshua fight Saturday. Well, of course I'm going to look at it. I definitely look at the guys at the top of the division, Wilder said. Anybody say they don't watch, then they're lying. Of course I'm going to look and see what's going on and see how this person did against this person, and so forth and so on. Deontay Wilder, right, won the heavyweight title after defeating Bermain Stivern in 2015. A rematch is set for November 4th in New York, AP photo John Locker Wilder very much wants to unify titles and face Joshua. He's not convinced that Joshua feels the same way, however. Joshua say he need more time he ain't ready. He wants to put himself in a better position. But you already fought a guy Klitschko that got way more experience than I, Wilder said. I don't understand this sport when it comes to me. It feels like I'm better off not being in this sport than being in it. I don't understand it. All this stuff has just been a build-up for me. But I can handle it well, though. I can handle it so well, and I can't wait. All this needs to be released. Unfortunately for Bermain Stivern, come November 4th, it will be released. And then, Wilder hopes, the fight with Joshua will be on deck. With victories and they are both huge favorites they will be unencumbered by mandatory defenses. It's certainly possible they could each have another fight first, but by the end of 2018 their fight should have marinated long enough. I just want to prove to the world that I am the best. That's all I want to do, Wilder said. I don't care about who's the A side, who's the B side, where the fight's going to be. I don't care about that stuff, just me in the ring. Joshua is unimpressed by Wilder's list of opponents thus far, but he knows their fight is the big one and what fans want to see. He said he is willing. Where I'm coming from is that in a career, it's all good going undefeated and looking good, but when it's all said and done, how are people going to remember you Wilder HASMT had any memorable fights, Joshua said. He needs a real remarkable fight to stamp his name in the history books of heavyweight boxing. He needs that more right now, especially being in America. This is the mech of boxing. I even need it. I need Wilder to have a remarkable fight. I need to be the one that steps up to make this dream a reality. I would be honored to go out there and compete with Wilder. It'll fight Wilder next year and make it a priority, 100%. There's no doubt about that.